Let's talk about how to multiply two numbers near 100, but over 100. These two numbers should be something like 101 and 103. They should be from 100 to the low 110th. The first step is to subtract 100 from each of these numbers. 101 minus 100 is 1, and 103 minus 100 is 3. Then you have to multiply these two. This will give us 3. The answer that you get will be the last two digits of the final answer. However, 3 is only one digit, so we need to add a 0. So this will be the last two digits of our answer. Then, we take either one of these and add it to the opposite one. So, we either do 101 plus 3 or 103 plus 1. Both the answers will give us 104. This number will go over here. And this will be our final answer. Let's look at another example. Let's try 108 times 109. Again, we're going to subtract each of these numbers with 100. 108 minus 100 is 8, and 109 minus 100 is 9. You have to multiply these two. This will give us 72. This will be the last two digits of our answer. Then, we take either one of these and add it with the opposite number. So, we either do 109 plus 8 or 108 plus 9. Both the answers will be 117. So our final answer is this. Let's look at another example. Let's say we have 113 times 108. Again, the process is the same. We're going to subtract each of these with 100. 113 minus 100 is 13, and 108 minus 100 is 8. 13 times 8 is 104. Then, this will be the last two digits. However, instead of being one digit or two digits, it's three digits. What are we going to do? So, we're going to keep the last two digits and we will carry this one. The next step is to add either of these numbers to the opposite number. So, we either do 113 plus 8 or 13 plus 108. They will both be 121. Then we have to add the carried 1. So we add 1 to either of these, and we will get the same answer. This number will go over here. So this is our final answer. Let's say we have 113 times 107. Pause the video and try this one yourself. This problem may look slightly trickier, but the process we use is the same. We have to subtract each of these numbers with 100. 113 minus 100 is 13, and 107 minus 100 is 7. Multiplying these two together gives us 91. This will be the last two digits of our answer. Then, we take either of these and add it to the opposite number. So we either do 107 plus 13, or 113 plus 7. The answers will both be 120. This number should go over here. So this is our final answer. Doing this trick fully in your head can be a little bit tricky, so this requires a lot of practice. I have linked a practice worksheet and its answers in the description, so make sure to go check those out.